Hula Monica, she'll rent you a house. She doesn't know. She'll file your taxes, even though you don't want her to do your taxes. This lady has some big dreams and some big schemes. Meet Crystal. She runs a tax business, a CPR school, a real estate business. It might appear Crystal is a rock solid entrepreneur, but Crystal is about to get shattered. First of all, I didn't take any money from anybody. Oh, you didn't? No, I did not. That's sure not what Shanika says. I got scammed. And Christina claims Crystal crushed her cash flow for the last year. I think she's a power. By the end of this story, I think the truth will be crystal clear. There's a bunch of people that tell me you're ripping them off, Crystal. Okay, There's a bunch of people telling you that I ripped them off as lying. Christina is a real estate investor from Miami. This house on Westbrook Street in Detroit is one of her properties. She needed a real estate company to handle the property. She relied on sources to recommend someone, and man, her sources let her down. They set me up with a person as my property manager who's a convicted felon and doesn't even have a real estate license to do what she does. That person is Crystal Davis, AKA Crystal Card of Card Property Management. Their motto is property management with a woman's touch. That woman touched the $15,000 Christina says she gave her and didn't do a thing. Christina and I Zoomed in April, six months after she hired Card Property Management and asked me to see if the house had been fixed up as Crystal promised. Here's the photo I took. Sure doesn't look like Crystal had the place rent ready. She's been proven through her criminal history record to have issues with the law and with other residents of Detroit. Residents like Chrissy. Crystal friended Chrissy on Facebook and said her company, Card Virtual Tax Service, could get her a big refund and take a percentage. Here's a text from Crystal to Chrissy. I told you I would hook you up. I'm a professional tax preparer. Chrissy responds with questions regarding paperwork needed, but she didn't need the paperwork. She says Crystal had already filed her taxes for her. That's why my eyebrows started to raise because how did you file my taxes without my permission? Chrissy did get a big refund, but the bank froze the account because the IRS started an investigation. Chrissy explained to the IRS card tax service filed her taxes without her signature or permission, but she got in trouble with the feds because... Crystal Davis' tax firm is not even on our paperwork. The same thing happened to Tara. After my taxes are filed, I get a letter from the IRS stating that my taxes are being investigated. Tara says Crystal told her, You said you wanted the maximum refund, and I'm like, the legal maximum refund? That's why I went with you. I thought you were a licensed preparer. Card Virtual Tax Service didn't appear on Tara's taxes, so she had to deal with the IRS on her own. Then Crystal stopped contacting everyone, Chrissy, Tara, and Christina down in Miami. It was about the first weekend in May that I, I had my last communication with her up until September. September, when she hired Eric, an actual property investment guy and licensed real estate agent who went to the Westbrook house and found a contractor fixing it up for the owner. I said, no, the owner is me. I live in Florida. I did not go up to the property. Who is the new owner? Take a guess. She presented herself as a property owner. She said her and her husband bought the property. They were trying to rehab the neighborhood. She gave me a whole story. Shanika found this ad on Zillow for the house on Westbrook. She called and met the owner, Crystal Card, at the newly refurbished house. Everybody's been inquiring about this property. I have a few potential people. Nobody put down a deposit. Would you like to put down a deposit? Shanika gave Crystal this money order for $825 and then realized she hadn't filled out a rental application, credit check. Hmm. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I said, something isn't right. She Googled Crystal Card's name, found out she also goes by the name Crystal Davis, talked to the real real estate guy, the real owner of the house, and discovered Crystal's con. She's the expert at frauding people. Maybe not an expert, but she has been convicted of retail fraud, felony receiving stolen property, utility fraud, larceny, and taking money under false pretenses. Here's Eric, the real estate agent, who's actually supposed to be handling the house on Westbrook now for Christina. So Crystal hasn't given the owner of the property or you the money? Crystal's given nobody the money. She's taken it and no one has talked to her since last Saturday morning. Well, I'm going to talk to her right now. Hi, Crystal. It's Rob Walchick from Fox 2. Hi. 
Hi, I gotta ask you some questions. What? What's going on with that house on Westbrook over there? What? The house on Westbrook that well, you took you believe money from Shanika from. Why don't you hang up the phone and talk to me? Yeah, she must be busy closing a real estate deal or maybe going over someone's taxes or maybe she's giving CPR instructions over the phone. Did you get that out my no, face? You, and you tell me what happened to the $825 you took from Shanika. You're not supposed First of all, I didn't take any money from anybody. Oh, you didn't? No, I did not. Remember, I have a copy of the money order Shanika gave to Crystal, made out to Crystal's company. So, are you handling that house on Westbrook? I don't have For any Christina part of down in Florida, because Christina says she hasn't even talked to you in weeks, and you're supposed to be. I don't have any further. Here, you want to take my card so you can call me and sure. answer these questions? Hold on. Why don't you just talk to me right that now? Hey. Crystal tries to back out in a hurry, but she's having a hard time handling her phone, her emotions, and her BMW at the same time. Nobody's blocking you in. Okay, fantastic. I'm out of your face, and you're into the Hall of Shade. Crystal changed all the locks on the house she rented to Shanika, so Christina, the real owner of the house, and Eric, the real real estate guy, couldn't even get in. Christina had them changed again and told Crystal to stay away. Shanika filed a police report. Crystal never, never gave her back the $825 she put down on the rental house. Yula Monica? Of course, Rob, while you were delivering your report, I went to her website and uh, looked her up. Uh, Crystal Card Investment Property Management. You can uh, possibly invest in homes in Detroit, Chicago, Arizona, but with such a spotty record, how does this woman get clients? Is this website? You know what? She's real good at friending people on Facebook and she appears to be your friend and the next thing you know, she's talking you into doing your taxes, whether you want them done or not. And if you need a place to rent, uh, she's got a place and she's just trouble. I've been hearing about this lady for about a year and I'm glad I finally got the story on. All right, Rob, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Rob.